The golden tussock lands of the Otago high country are home to two of New Zealand's giant lizards, the Grand and Otago skinks. However, the countdown is on to halt their slide towards extinction. So, we're going to meet James and his team and find out how they're pulling out all the stops to protect these skinks. These lizards are incredibly special because they're nationally critically endangered for a start, so they're the rarest lizards in New Zealand, and also they're the largest lizards in New Zealand. And why are they so rare? Um, well, like a lot of New Zealand natives, unfortunately they, they get eaten an awful lot by the introduced mammals that are in New Zealand, like the cats, rats, stoats, mice, ferrets, weasels, hedgehogs. And so what do you try and do out here to look after them? These animals are going to be extinct in 10 to 20 years at the rate that they're declining. So we've got experiments where we've built mammal-proof fences that keeps everything out right down to the mice in some small areas where there are populations of both the Grand and the Otago skink. And then where we are now is in the middle of a 2,000 hectare area that's intensively trapped. And then we're also keeping an eye on populations of these lizards outside of managed areas so we can see what's going on in general. Do you know how it's going? We're currently in year two of a three-year program. And the data is suggesting to us at the moment that we are getting recovery within the mammal-proof fenced area and fortunately here at the site where, which is the centre of a trapped area. And unfortunately at some of our control sites we've continued to see quite precipitous declines. Where did they used to be found? Probably right across Otago, but they certainly seem to be very closely linked to these schist rock outcrops that we can see behind us here. And that's probably because Otago is a pretty hot and cold place, you know, hot in summer, cold in winter. And these rocks are big things, so they cool down slowly, they warm up slowly. So if you're a lizard that's an ectotherm, so you're cold-blooded, you need to use the sun's heat to warm up. And equally, you, if it's too hot, you need to find somewhere to cool down. So these rocks provide a perfect opportunity for them. And we suspect that they probably existed wherever the rocky habitat was appropriate throughout Otago. New Zealand reptiles are quite notable for the fact that they don't only eat insects. Most little lizards, geckos and skinks of these sorts of sizes eat mostly insects. But these chaps here, they love the fruits on the, on the shrubs and all the little herbs in amongst the tussock. And where are they found now? Well, unfortunately, they're now in less than 10% of their former range and probably quite a little less than that. We're here above Dunedin in McRae's Flat, and this is definitely the stronghold for the species. We may, we may have up to sort of two to 3,000 of each species in this area. And then pretty much there's nothing until you get across to the, the Lindus and Harweir area. And up in the hills there, there are a few very small populations also hanging on. It does seem fitting that here in the golden landscapes of central Otago, right in the middle of gold mining country, are two beautiful species of golden skinks. And having seen the hard work that James and his team are doing, I'm sure they've got the Midas touch. Yeah. 